begin Silgrizzly stream. We are playing Warstone TD. Uh, let's see what we got to upgrade here. I don't really see anything right now. Nice. This helps with our dwarves so they don't reload so fucking slow. Sorry. It's a dev word. Everybody calm down. Bird's language. I can build a totem. Oh, okay, yeah, I can do that. Nice. Let's receive the reward. There's a PvP battle? I don't see one. Yeah, I'm going to bed. <laughs> Night, Chris. Alright, Calamity. I'll talk to you tomorrow, man. <coughs> I'm kind of doing a half day tomorrow, which is kind of nice. Our work is doing a team building exercise, so that'll be interesting. Not that I don't think we need to. I just think that maybe, uh, I don't know. We'll see. We have eagles. Cool. Oh, we got a new one. Eagle flight speed? Sure. Do we actually have eagles now, like, that will come in and uh, help us and shit? Because I am okay with that. We have a new building. Enchanted Convocation Totem. The novices have enchanted the totem, allowing you to control stronger flying units. Allows summoning giant eagles. Oh, so in PvP. Bird armor. Experience. New quest. I don't know if I still have. No, I guess if I leave that area. We have bird armor, but we can't upgrade it because we don't have castle level 3 yet. Essentially, everything we're waiting on right now is kind of waiting on uh, castle level 3. Oh, yeah, fashion. Oh, you didn't see it, but I got an achievement unlocked called Fashion Designer. The Astral was kind of a cool concept. Um, it's kind of this realm where you have just your hero, and you transport around. Oh, we have a hero now, so we can do... Uh, oh, never mind. I thought we could do that one now, but I guess not. We can do the Dwarf's Shooting Range, a clearing hidden from prying eyes. The Dwarf's experiment with their new weaponry here. So this might be an area where we need to put a bunch of Dwarves. Or they'll put a bunch for me. The secret testing ground for the Dwarves. This is where they test new weaponry. Our task is to protect the Dwarves while they are finishing their test. Additionally, you can recall units from Toadstones with 100% price recall. This is extremely useful strategic tool. Okay. We don't have any gold. Ah, we got Fireball now, which costs 20 mana, but we also increased our mana to, I think, 150 total. Um... Let's see what it does. Nice, so it just takes them all out in one lump. That's good, because uh, the lightning only takes uh, one person now. It's time to test this new stones in action. Recall the rifle man from your toad stone and instead summon him to the toad that sticks to your enemies, okay? That's cool. Need an archer. We need some damage done. 
They're so slow with these guys. I mean, they're doing a lot better now. They were a lot slower. As you recall. If you were here earlier. If you weren't here earlier, then you would probably not recall. Everything's a lot cheaper on this map, too. Everything that I, Or maybe I upgraded something that made everything cheaper. Who knows? I don't. Ooh, cool. We got Ice Whirlwind. Summons an Ice Whirlwind. Freezing enemies. I'm gonna move myself back down a little. Let's see. Just grab on someone. Because uh, we had moved myself up because we were on that one map where you had to like kind of see where I was allocating different people. They're just so slow. The riflemen. Oh geez, these guys have some pretty good range then. go through all my uh, stuff has been kind of messed up here lately, I've noticed. So how come these guys can't shoot these guys? Are they too fast? Is that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> it was like, more like, surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm hoping that in this mission we get to upgrade Rifleman. Whatever the next level is. That's the hope. Ugh, these guys slowly recharge. Alright, we're just gonna make another one over here. Seven and nine, and these guys do ten to six, but they're three seconds. It, one attack in three seconds, whereas these guys do one attack in 1.4 seconds. So they're so much faster, but they also do way less damage. So it's kind of like, you know, like, is it cost effective? Slow everyone down for a minute. Take a chill break.
so I need another archer. The dwarves wanted to tell you that the heavy artillery arrives soon. Oh, so maybe there is going to be something. Oh, these guys are upgrading. What are you upgrading to, guys? Guys? Bombarder. Damage 19 to 31, which is right now they do, what, 10 to 16? Damn, that's a lot of damage, actually. <laughs> oh, whoa. That's a really slow upload, though. Can I lower the music? Yeah, sure. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Is this it here? There we go. Excellent. Now you can upgrade the rifleman of a barter's. Give it a shot. <laughs> I don't know if that helped at all. Oh, let's do that. So now they do like, they got like shot, double barreled shotguns over here. Nice. Uh, let's put it right here. Hopefully that helped with the volume. I don't know. It did. We're gonna have to look after this level to see if there's an option to upgrade uh, our shoot while you're upgrading. just because we have so many uh, bats coming through. Seems like the tests are out of control. The enemies are taking a shortcut now. Uh-oh, that means they're going to come through all these areas too. Crap. because this is going to eventually be broken. I also need someone right here.
I wonder if they do, because I have this now, they do more of like a shotgun blast. I wouldn't know. Let's do it right there. Get an archer there to, cause, so she can kind of like protect the end here because they're gonna eventually break her here. <clears throat> so that means then another one probably right here. Now that I have all these upgrades, I haven't really used a peasant or one of those guys in a while, I've noticed. I guess maybe I could do a peasant right here. That means they're not going to go over here at all, huh? Should I do another archer? I'm not really sure. Yeah. This music has kind of a Pirates of the Caribbean vibes. Last time I waited and I shouldn't have, so that time we're gonna go. Jesus, close. I didn't even see that. Um, we should probably put one like right, yeah, right here. I'm eventually gonna come through here. I know that at least. takes so long to recharge. We're kind of running through it. Which sucks because that means uh, eventually we're just going to kind of be screwed. Uh-oh. The stream's delayed. But oh, never mind. My hand was just tired. Not enough mana. Okay, cool.
I guess I could put another uh, rifleman right here. Let this recharge some. Go ahead and get these guys all lower defense. Because we need to get rid of them pretty quickly. Oh, that was cool. He threw that spear. 56. Oh, I guess because uh, as we progress in the game, uh, at least most tower defense games, I know as you build more of the same unit, the gold increases. Plus, I think he was on one of the not frog ones, which makes it more expensive. Because I've noticed all of them are kind of a little bit more expensive uh, when they're on regular totems. I wonder that could just be me. Um, I'm gonna put one right here. Well, if they're not coming over there anymore. See, I thought this had like this is like I had five recharges, but I guess that's number five. This is one, two, three, four, five. So I only have three more. Three ones, I guess. Put another one right here. I don't know, maybe should I do another rifleman? Peasants seem to do a lot of damage. Oh, nice. I didn't realize that was the last guy. I was like intently staring, like, ah. Dwarf shooting range. Okay, okay. Uh, we got the dwarf workshop. Collect wood. We can now build the dwarf factory and hunting armor PvP. We still have yet to figure out how to do PvP. New quest. Industrialization. Build dwarf factory. Oh, you didn't have to ask me twice. Modernizing the workshop enabled new weapons to be created. It allows summoning bombarders to battle. Yes. So now we have the option bombarder. I don't know what these guys are. They look like cannons. Excuse me. Hey, that means we can build the mine. Increases iron gathering speed from 40 to 65 per day. Nice. Yay, we got a new level. All right. Um, I wanted to do something over here. Let's check. Uh, we are able to find hidden scrolls in the margin, or hidden spells in the margins of scrolls. Money is given at the start of a recall. Um. There's just so many options. It's kind of cool that this game has a tech tree. <clears throat> I can get a new speed or a new spell. Storm slows enemies that are within the spell's radius. Or cost allied unit gets damage bonus for seven seconds after lightning has been cast. The closest ally. And over here, I need two. 
Warriors promoted to sergeant receives 15% damage increasing after making kills. Ooh. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, let's do this one so that way they can actually... So I can increase again. The warrior lowering frenzy is a warrior lowering the time between attacks for several strikes. Oh, that's cool. I didn't realize I could go back and increase. Can we do that on these? Oh, it does look like that. Starting mana plus 50%, and then we can go again for plus 100%. Lightning spell uh, does more damage and it cools down faster. We can do more spells in battle. So I think I can't do it because it looks like at the top there a little book with a red next to it. So I need, because right now we only have five. So I need 10, sword, nine and eight. I could do this to make the summoning faster. Yeah, they all do it. They all have, uh, you can do an additional. That's cool. So if I wanted to like say, let's beat the main game and come back later and just kind of have fun in like sandbox mode and play around, I could do that. And like un upgrade everything. All right, let's see what this says. We have bombarders. Receive a board. New upgrade, let's see. Mercenaries take a defense position, decreasing incoming damage. Got all these things blinking. Let's see what we got over here. I need Castle 3. Explosive. Uh, splash damage. Oh, yeah, I'll do that. I need Castle 3. So it looks like we need to do a lot more. We're going to need to complete the Astral mission. So yeah, we're definitely going to come back and play this more. Um, definitely can see. I mean, we have a lot to do. We've already done a lot. And we have to come back and get stars for all these. Um, we got to make it across this gap here. And then I guess we have to get over here somehow. Because the crossroads is our next big area, essentially. So I have one more slot. Yeah, so we're pretty good right there. Is this how I add items? What? I didn't know I could do that. So there you go, guys. That's how you add items. <laughs> Freezes all monsters. Scroll fireball, scroll lightning. Oh, so I can only take six at a time. So let's take this one out. Maybe put that one there. I don't really need the finishing of cooldown. I like that I could do more health if I wanted to. Let's see if we can find one. Oh, these are permanent effects, which I probably should have waited on. Damage of the fireball is increased by 150. Where was it?
Okay. Well, for those watching on stream and those on YouTube, this is where we're going to end it here. Um, I'll probably close out a little bit, but for those on YouTube, have a good one. Hope you enjoyed watching Warstone TD for tonight. Uh, we'll probably get back. I think next stream I'm probably going to focus on Greek. I want to try to beat that one. And we still have Tohu that we're trying to finish because I have a bunch of other games I want to play. But for now, still Grizzly out. Thank you everyone for tuning in and watching my Let's Plays. If you're enjoying this, make sure you like the video and also subscribe and click that bell icon. It will help the channel out. Also, if you have any recommendations for any other games for me to play while I'm live or games for me to review, please leave a comment below and just let me know what you'd like for me to look into. If you'd like to contact me outside of YouTube, Below in the comments, I'll leave my Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, and Discord information so that way you can reach me outside of the videos. This is The Still Grizzly thanking you once again for watching my videos.